We're a community like all American communities with a complicated uh, past. The last decade, we've seen a turnaround. The census in 2010 showed that Tulsa's population had declined. The census in 2020 showed a dramatic turnaround. The city of Tulsa uh, is always a great aggregator uh, and knows that it is part of a larger uh, economic ecosystem in the region. Really well-developed partnerships between our business community, our public sector, our nonprofit sector. I think Oklahoma is really unique in the amount of um, tribal leadership and tribal investment and collaboration with our sovereign nations in Oklahoma. Working with our other stakeholders in the nonprofit as well as the industrial private sectors has made this coalition extremely strong. How do you build this advanced mobility cluster? You really look at the intersections between those two industries and see how you have overlap and alignment and how you can take that overlap and alignment and really grow this new industry. Tulsa has deep roots in the aerospace industry, right? With companies like Nordam, with L3 here, MROs like American Airlines, Spirit, Boeing and a lot of the great work that those folks have done over there. Our history and love affair with aviation began in the 1920s. Within 10 years after opening our airport, we were the busiest airport in the world. So we have this very rich and long history with aviation and aerospace. Today, that facility is used uh, for everything from American Airlines having the largest commercial maintenance facility in the world, but then Navistar, uh, a great example, a major school bus manager manufacturer using a million square feet of that building right now to build school buses that transport children all over our country from home to school every single day. Tulsa is unique in that we have this urban core but just 10 miles to the north and west, you have this wide open space where you can test this technology. We're utilizing the Osage Nation Ranch as part of that corridor. It's a 43,000 acre ranch owned by the Osage Nation, and it's in line with being able to fly a flight vehicle from Stillwater, Oklahoma to Skyway 36. This project is actually going to provide a partnership so that as technology grows, you could set up shop at the Osage Skyway 36 location. You're five minutes from downtown Tulsa. And so you have all of the tech talent and support you need from an urban core, but you're doing your testing five minutes from your office location. The projects that we're looking at for growth, advanced aerial mobility, as well as electric vehicles, require a lot of space, they require a lot of people. So the more rural areas, such as where Tulsa Port of Catoosa are located, directly adjacent to the urban area. It is so popular that we ran out of room <laughs> at the Port of Catoosa, and we're now having to expand into other areas for more businesses to come in here and utilize the McClellan Kerr Arkansas River Navigational System, which is another great public asset that's been utilized to grow economic development here. Tulsa has an insanely rich history an insanely rich past. What we're seeing now is how we're preparing our city for the future. Tulsa's kind of looking for a new way to define itself, a new currency. I think, you know, in this new century, our currency is going to be, you know, tech, entrepreneurship, creativity. And I think Tulsa has a narrative backdrop that could also really just be a beacon for other cities in terms of how we help break economic shackles on different segments of our populations if we do this correctly. Tulsa historically had been a city of great opportunity for many, but it had not been a city of opportunity for all. We have to prepare ourselves for a diverse economy with a lot more alternatives and working hard for an equal, inclusive, diverse, and vibrant Tulsa economy where we can be prosperous, but also in a shared prosperity for all. We want Tulsa on the map and known as the place to be. If you are a black innovator or if you are black in tech, Tulsa's where you need to be because Tulsa is committed to throwing everything behind you, to helping your vision be real and helping get you to the top. The purpose for everything that we do when it comes to economic development is creating equality of opportunity here in Tulsa. We're really looking at how does Tulsa serve as an innovation hub for the entire country in a way that increases economic opportunity for everyone in our community. We have the right people at the table, land that's right for development, all kinds of entities who are really at the forefront of their industries who want to be leaders in advanced mobility technology. We didn't have to go about building all sorts of relationships to figure out how do we execute on an ambitious proposal. We 
already had those relationships there and we could really leverage them to move us forward. We believe we can build a more resilient economy with everything we already have here in Tulsa. I'm really excited as an economic developer to actually have people rowing in the same direction and then not only that, the amount of investment and enthusiasm following that direction is, is really difficult to find elsewhere. Tulsa is the place to be.